What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kajana Schofield. If you're new, welcome. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail today, I'm going to be talking about and showing you all how to do these mini braids on natural hair. My hair is 4C natural. I did blow out my hair before I did this. And this is the second day of me wearing them. They still looking good. I still got to get look comfortable wearing them though. Like I'm not used to wearing short hair and short braids. So I don't know how I feel about it yet, but <laughs> I think it's gonna grow on me. Let me know in the comment box what y'all think about them. But yeah, um, it took me like a few hours to do them because um, I started on them in the middle of the day and then I stopped and did it the next day. So it would have took me like four or five hours if I would have just did it completely without stopping. But um, yeah, so this is it. Get a closer look. So I'm done talking. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm in my restroom right now because I have to use two mirrors. But I got a mirror right here on the chair so I can see the back. And I got my um, front mirror that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use that so I can be able to see where I parted. And okay guys, for today's video, we're gonna be using three products. I'm gonna be using um, this Blue Magic Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm gonna use this jam just to put on the top of my hair <clears throat> to make it smooth. And I'm gonna use the grease. I have already started. Here's the back, how it's looking now. Hey guys, so another thing is I did start off on scratched out hair. I blow dried my hair um, yesterday because my hair is like really, really short when I wash it. And it's, yeah, I just had to um, scratch it out so I could have a little lint to it. So, yeah, I blow dried it first before I did this. When I part, I like to part as if I was doing the knotless box spray like this. Like you see how I'm parting in the middle of this braid. Part in the middle of this braid right here. And this is just to make sure that I won't be able to see the part that's right here. That my braid will come over this braid. See how it's coming over this right here? See how this see how this braid right here is coming over this part? <clears throat> So I won't be able to see my parts as much. If that's good for me and anybody else that's doing this hairstyle that's not really that good at parting on their own head. So that's a tip for anybody that can't really part but want to do this hairstyle. Thank you. 
I got the back and part of my front done. I had went ahead and started on my front because I had wanted to watch the Oval and the Sisters on BT. Comment down below if y'all watched it. Like it's getting good. Especially Sisters. But yeah, I had to watch that. I had went ahead and did the front because I only need one mirror with the front part. <clears throat> but as you can see for the front, I did a middle part. And this is just so it can be more versatile. But like I did on this side, I'm going to do the same thing I did. On this side to this side and I'm going to start from the bottom row first. Take some jam to make sure that the part is defined. What we do here is go back, 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 back. My hair is just so thin on this side, so I'm going to make this one just a little bigger than the rest of them because I don't want to put no more damage onto my hair because if it's too small, it might break it, so I'm going to just make that one a little bigger. Thank you. 
I'm finally done! Thank you, God! It took forever, but I'm finally done. 